It's a heist! It's a heist! Let's freaking go! Hello, party people! Salaviathan here, back with another reaction today, continuing up Dragon Age Absolution, and we're on episode 2. And man, the first episode got me excited. It got me really hyped. Recapping the first episode, you know, we met Miriam and Roland. You know, they're part of a Thieves Brigade until they um, get, uh, I guess, asked to do a job by um, Fairbanks and Safira. Now, it seems as though that Safira and Miriam, they had a uh, bit of a past, right? Now, they invite them to basically try to steal the Circulum Infinitus. Now, they need to go to the Tevinter Imperium to basically secure this, which is a place that Miriam does not want to go back to. Um, we also get um, joined by Lachlan and Quidian, a Kunari and, and Dwarf, and that kind of makes up our six six compadres, you know? <laughs> so they head over to the Defender Imperium, and um, essentially Miriam doesn't want to be there. It seemed as though like there was a bit of a um, issue with this one person that, that she knew named Razarin Amosin. Now, if anybody knows Dragon Age lore, they know that elves are discriminated against greatly. So the Defender Imperium is not is not shy with that at all either. So her just being there is is I feel is gonna start causing problems, but I'm excited because it turns out this show is a heist show. <laughs> but we're not gonna waste any time. Let's continue up and get started with this episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe guys turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next and drop down below some comments on your thoughts on this reaction man I'd love the feedback and you know if you guys want to recommend me more things go right ahead <laughs> but uh without further ado we're gonna get started with Dragon Age Absolution episode 2 the will of the maker let's go isn't it strange Tevinter is home to the most powerful magic in the world we're hated for it, envied for it, but all agree to Vinter Whoa, Major's whoa. is the Deventer Imperium like the on top of a giant cliff? That's only a fraction of the power. That of actually power. is hard. That goes hard, man. That's so, so cool. Oh, that looked, that looked really Ages amazing. Ago, Magister's harnessed forces we still don't fully understand. This is the guy who was in the opening, right? You know, if you're so desperate to dig through the past, you could get rid of the slave corpses Marconius IV put in the walls. I have a yeah, feeling this guy be might be Rosarin Amacine. I feel I feel like he might be, and, and she it said her name was Tasia. You look like oh, it is! It is! Combined. Um, I'm summoning a spirit. It's completely different. Spirits, demons, they're all dangerous. Getting a history lesson about that thing isn't worth the risk. That's the circulum, the little snake thing. The circulum infinitus was crafted here. If we can find a spirit that witnessed its creation, we can learn how it was made and how to modify it to our own needs. It is supposed to bring the dead back to life, Tasia, just as they were before. No, no, that is no, no. Stay away from that kind of shit, man. Raising the dead is not something that you need to be trifling with. Bruh, that shit can bring people I back to life. The circle of infinitus. Last and greatest work of Magister Amelia Pavis. Yet I sense it has never been used. You can't you can't be like messing with things like the dead. Resurrect another. I need a way to use the circulum without spilling blood. Oh, okay, so it does have like a little bit of a limitation. It seems like you have to kill somebody, and it's like a it's like equivalent exchange. Power like this draws many eyes. Should the circulum go to the one that seeks it? All of Tevinter will burn. Tell us who else wants the circular. Oh man, if he's gonna reveal that Miriam and their group want it, like... Beware, boy. Memory unheeded can only become enmity. Rizarin, careful. I think... <laughs> I think it might transform. Great, now we've got to deal with a demon. <laughs> Rizarin Amacine. I kind of like him a little bit, man. He trifles with things that he shouldn't be. But damn, the spirit turned into a whole ass <laughs> demon. <laughs> now they gotta battle it. Ooh. 
Got some moves, yo. Him and Tasia. Such power should never have been in mortal hands, but in my own. This is a tough battle. This demon is putting in work. <laughs> I knew Amacene was preparing something with those ruins. Sent them straight back to hell. Bye bye. I won't let anyone take the circulum from me. Not even I you. I won't risk losing you. What? Please don't make me protect you from yourself. Don't worry. I can't be away from Minroth this much longer. One way or another, this will all be over soon. Ooh, these two seem to be a little bit uh, in a relationship as well, too. Just let me wrap things up here. Okay, there we go. Because I was thinking, like, it's just sitting there. Like, anybody could come get it. <clears throat> Make her bless your evening, Night Commander. And yours, Magister. Second bell. That, my friends, is the second of four bells in an Imperial Chantry surface. Right now, most of the palace is busy looking for salvation. Let's make sure we're on our way before they find it. We split off into four teams. Roland, you're our man on the inside. I had a feeling. I had a feeling one of those night guards was wanting them. It just it just felt like it was. Draw as many guards as you can out of the throne room so Lachlan and I can access the vault. <laughs> the worst actor, Roland. <laughs> You're on Quidian. Head for the cathedral. We need to keep those people inside for as long as we can. Let's fight. Hang on. Man, yo, they really gotta keep themselves like nice and hidden. Guard it with your life. <laughs> oh, it's an elven is, child. Is someone there? Please oh, don't no. tell the cook, okay? I, oh I, no, she's gonna feel she's gonna feel some type of uh connection with type with this kid. <laughs> Alright, now we're seeing a little bit of her story. should never harm her betters. I don't know the delicate way to bring this up, but I know you're loyal to Magister Amacene and that he thinks of you as family, and Neb, I worry he could be tempted to do something dangerous or <laughs> wrong. I just... What's going on here? Trading gossip? Allow me to escort you. Oh, of course. That would be lovely. It's all right, Neb. Meet me back at the apartments. <laughs> Why are you hiding from them? I took some food from the trash. I didn't think it would do any harm. They weren't even gonna eat it. Yeah. <laughs> A slave owns nothing. Is nothing. You are not fit to touch what is mine. Please. Yo, who, who's that bitch that keeps like... Like, who's that bitch that she knew? Is she gonna see her now? <sighs> Where's my bad and thief of an apprentice? No. <laughs> poor kid, poor kid. The next patrol, they found Roland. Work faster, or we're all dead. I've told you, there's no one else here. I think you should leave. I'll be damned if I let an elf tell me what to do. You're still just a tool. She is holding in so <laughs> much <laughs> anger, <laughs> man. You are the sword of this family. You will not fail Again. us. Again. Of course, ma'am. I believe I found what you're looking for. See how much heat that delicate elven skin can take. Sorry. This place has really traumatized her, man. She has like no hope for a good future in Tevinter. Thank goodness you've come to Damn, my man. I can't believe she gave up that kid.
We keep seeing a lot of bits and pieces of her past, but they all connect. You're just opening it now? Quidian's already on her way back to the tunnel. Good to see you too, Hira. Sorry we're running late, Hira. No, please, you go first, Hira. Interlocking barriers. They look pretty lethal, too. But you can disable them? Please, that's why I'm here. See? All right, you nice. Know, I was almost hoping you wouldn't be able to do Oh that. no! Oh no! What I wish Shit! What? 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 Fairbanks is a traitor? Shit is getting ahead. interesting. Just, I know what you're doing, Azara. It's getting interesting. What are you talking about? <laughs> What did you do? You're trying to wait me out so you can go back to the vault again. Rizara and her were friends in the past? What you're trying to do is valiant, but you're becoming obsessed. You're right. What? Will you help me see clearly again? Dang, man! Freaking Fairbanks just trying his hardest, but Saphirin holding her own! Dang, she's, she stabbed him, she's still taking him on! Yo, she's a, she's a beast! She's a warrior! Let's go, Saphira! She destroyed that temple and a bunch of bird things came out? Those don't look like birds though. Oh, that can't be good. Yeah, they're like going through walls and shit. Those are like ghost birds. Head back to the rendezvous. Rizarin, Divine Marconius built that vault to be a last resort. Its security system isn't meant to stop intruders, it's meant to stop a full-scale coup. It's designed to kill everyone in the palace. What is that, like a security system just like kill everybody? Just a big suicide? Huh. Bombing or whatever? Huh. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I get it. It's death. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, Wait. no, no, no. Where's <laughs> you do <laughs> Yes. Thank you. Good job. I'm glad he at least died. What the fuck? Yeah, like what the heck, man? <laughs> oh man, that makes it look like she was the one who killed him. Ah, oh, that was a good episode. Okay, guys, <laughs> episode two of Dragon Age Absolution, yo, the heist picked up really well, really, really well. Now, we meet Rizarin Amosin, and his demeanor and character is completely different than what I assumed it would be. Turns out he's the long-haired guy who was in the opening over there, and he's young. I thought he would be old. Now the heist is on, and they are generally getting ready you know they had like their own little thing separating everybody we had you know Roland distracting Miriam guarding the door um uh Safira and uh and Safira and Ro Fairbanks being the one getting the circulum or Lackland or whatever and quitting them kind of distracting and it turns out that Fairbanks was a traitor the whole time we got to explore a little bit more of Miriam's past and we got to learn a little bit more about like her her time in the Winter Imperium when she was young and that one old lady who 
kept on, who kept on like just beating her, kept beating her, kept, kept, kept ordering her. It seemed like that was her slave master. And eventually at the very end, we see that, uh, that her slave master was dead and Amacine was right there like, Miriam, what happened? What, what did you do? And I don't know. Amacine seems like he might be a good guy, but he thinks like he might have some bad and like good intentions, but he has a bad way of executing them. Because it sounds like the Circulum Infinitus, the only way that it can really raise the dead is if it kills somebody else. So him and Tassia um, seem to have like a bit of a relationship as well too. So we're seeing two sides of of of, of um, I guess groups kind of uh, trying to secure the Circulum. And it's going to be very interesting to see how much more this thing is going to take a, like, take a pivotal role into everything, you know? We'll see, we'll see. It's exciting. I'm definitely excited to jump into the next episode, but for this reaction, I will see you guys around. Take care, and have yourselves a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. <laughs>